posting about club member recruitment. That doesn't concern me. <sighs> but I took my pill. This isn't right. I just took some. Senpai, are you all right? Shu Amiguchi. There's something I wanted to ask you, actually. But it doesn't look like right now is a good time. You really don't look so good, you know. Your face is all red, too. Maybe you have a fever? Just leave me alone. What is this feeling? It wasn't a dream. Morimura. She's been modifying personalities with nanomachines. She wants to change both me and Iori Fuyusaka into different people. I can't believe what Morimura says. I'll take it from here. Yes, sir. Ryoko Shinonomi. Female. Teenager. No matches in the registry, no prints on file. According to the written statement, reports repeated falsehoods, possibly delusional. Psychiatric evaluation necessary. So what? You're gonna get rid of me by claiming I have a mental disorder? What about my sentinel? How are you going to explain that? We're still investigating. How'd you get something that large into the city? You'd think someone would have seen it. What even is that thing? It's a weapon. Created to fight Kaiju. Hmm. Kaiju... The ones you said appeared in 2100? 
They're mentioned in the statement as well. <sighs> 2104. What was that? They first appeared in the year 2104. <sighs> So, if you're from 2104, what are you doing here? I came from the year 2064. I've told you this already. I don't know why, but when I woke up, I was here. Your story is just too unbelievable. <sighs> My apologies. But all investigations regarding this case will cease immediately. And you are? Mr. Ida! Tetsuya Ida, advisor to the Special Investigations Unit. You will throw out all statements and records and hand over this witness to us. I'm sorry for not coming to get you sooner. Special investigations. So it was true. An intelligence agency created from private contractors. But does it come with actual authority? Orders from the Director General of the Defense Agency. Please, look them over. These are confidential matters relating to national security. Therefore, it needs to be kept a secret within the police as well. Monitoring public safety also falls under our jurisdiction. <laughs> You're all right now. Let's go. Yes, sir. You okay? You should probably take it easy. At least until the nurse comes back. Th thanks The nurse's office was left wide open. So I'm sure she'll be back soon. I was saved by Mr. Ida. Is he really alive? And Shu Amiguchi. Why do I remember when I look at him? This strange feeling. It makes me so anxious. I don't even know what it means. I just... I feel like I'm forgetting something important.
Freiheit. I guess when you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. What's wrong? What the hell do I do now? I finally found this damn key. What's gonna happen to Minami if I snitch on her? Minami's got the key. But if I let Okino know, I'd be throwing her under the bus. <sighs> that Izumi guy. He said he'd handle it. Can I even trust him? Gotta be kidding me. So all of this? It's all some big dream in my head? This Kisaragi, and that Fuyusaka, and Wajima, none of them are real? I want to ask you something. If you knew the world was going to end in a couple of minutes, how would you spend them? Uh, where's all this coming from? I just want to know how you feel. Well, a few minutes, huh? That's not a lot of time. Well, uh, I can't really get anywhere in a few minutes. So I guess I'd spend them with you. <laughs> What's wrong? I didn't... I didn't cross a line, did I? Hey, could you not ignore me? So that guy Izumi, he's a Juro Karabe from another world? If that's really true, that League of Darkness lady's gotta be a Fuyusaka from another world. When I was a kid, she did something to my key. I remember now. She said something about the Sentinels. Probably talking about that robot I saw in the future ruins. Guess Okino's not here. Okay, the first train's gonna be Fuyusaka and... Karabe. Fancy meeting you here. Usami-chan! Place isn't this way, right? Where are you going? I think that is going over in So the one who has the key. They're the one calling these monsters out. Even if they don't want to. Never thought Minami would have it. So the world's gonna end. And it's all because of these 15 people. Because they're sending out this command to the kaiju? If he's right, yeah, I'm one of those people too. again actually this is pretty good timing someone was just looking for you they asked me to give you this here you go who's this from Izumi I think he said <sighs> well that's my train I better go Tsutsuji bound semi express departing at 512 first car who is this guy What's his angle? Let's see, the 512. That's the third train. The one Kizaragi gets on. And the first car. That one stops over at the end of the platform. Ryoko Shinonome gets on the second train. Hey, Shinonome-senpai. <sighs> Are you okay? I have to go.
The train's already here, so... I'm gonna go. You're from 1C. Hey. <laughs> you even listening? Jeez. If I get on the train now, is it even gonna change anything? with me too? You're from Inami's class. You another of Okino's goons? Okino? I don't know who that is. Then why are you here? I was told to come here so I could save Nenji Ogata. You're here to save me? But Nenji Ogata's right here. So, why are you appearing on this screen? That's like a version of me inside my own head. So, I just need to pull this thing off your head? Hey, hey, don't do that! They said if it gets forced off, I might never wake up again. Jeez. Call the police, I guess? My contact wants to keep this discreet. Okay, then call your contact. Get them to do something. Well, he's a cat, so his options are limited. He's a what? He's a talking cat who's here to save the world. What the shit are you talking about? Look, do you see any kind of... I don't know, a power button? None here. Well, what do you see? A button that says, reinitialize. Okay, don't touch that. Probably dumps me back at the station. Something here about a restriction? Maybe that's it. You think you can turn that restriction off? I can try. How's it looking? Hold on. Still checking. Yeah. Hey, you talked about saving the world. You mean from the kaiju, right? Right. So... All that stuff I saw on the train, it really could happen. If you could fight back, would you? Hell yeah, I would. Then, I'll cast a spell on you. What the? Some kind of robot? <gasps> I think I just lifted the restriction. Really? Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Now try pressing that reinitialize thing. Those government spooks are keeping an eye on me. At this rate, they could just take me away and nobody would ever know. <sighs> Not here today. Miyuki Inaba was right about everything. There was a boundary. 
So here we are, in 30 kilometers of city. And beyond that, nothing. Wish I could pretend it was all a dream. My own private little adventure with Yuki-chan. Back in my dream, he will well, he in my dream, her that's whoa. The way Miyuki those dreams weren't from the few hey. So she was watching me this whole time? On behalf of that shady outfit? Is that why she approached me at all? Yuki-chan. No, wait. I'm the one who approached her. And she has to keep an eye on me? Well, hey. Maybe this isn't so bad after all. So she's been monitoring me this whole time? She's actually some Secret Service government spy? That's crazy. Also, not gonna lie, weirdly hot. <gasps> Shukun, please help me. Hey! He knows I'm here now. He's going to try to have me eliminated. What? Wait, wait, what do you mean, eliminated? So much I still don't get here. I need a real explanation. I know. But I had to hack my way in to reach you. My connection won't last long. When you say he, you mean Tetsuya Ida? Yes. Why is he after you? Because I'm helping you. I was right. He's trying to reset Project Ark. He wants to reset it? What would that do? The world would be destroyed by Kaiju. Everything will be gone. They want to start over. They want to restart this world from the beginning. They've done it before. And a reset means you would be erased too. You're talking about Kaiju now? You've already seen them. <sighs> you mean those things in my dreams? The Sentinels were built to fight those Kaiju. To defend the world you call home. So it's just space beyond the enclosure walls. That means we're in some huge spaceship, right? Why does all of this exist? Why cover up the truth? There's a supercomputer hidden below your town. We call it Universal Control. It has led you to believe you live in Japan, in a certain historical era. Why? Possibly to make your lives easier? Possibly to make you easier to manage. Even I couldn't tell you the real reason. So why are you trying to help us? You still don't know who I am. You and I have met many times in your dreams. Oh, that 
song from my dream. You don't mean... you're... You finally realized. This is how I got past universal control. I sang on an inconspicuous broadcast with all my heart. Just like I used to. Kisaragi. Yes, it's me. But a different Tomi Kisaragi from the one in your world. I'm not human anymore. Just data on a computer. But that's exactly how I can still help you. Oh no. He's at Sector 3's terminal. Help me, Shukun. If we don't stop him, he'll erase me. What should I do? Inside the outer walls. I hid your sentinel inside. Hey! No, come on! Don't leave me hanging like this! She's gone. What happens if I go there? Can I really make a difference? I can already tell this is gonna be a huge mess. Nope. Nope. A girl has asked for my help. I can't just run away from this. I'll go. And I'll figure out the rest when I get there. She's been reaching out to me. Using my TV set to break through the walls that separate us. She's the Tomi Kisaragi I saw in my dreams. The Tomi Kisaragi who has no body left. Just a mind inside a machine. Any sudden moves, and I shoot. Shinonome-senpai? The door was locked! How did you get in? I broke the lock. With that gun? There was an agent, too. I put him to sleep. All right. You were at the park with him. Are you with the Shady Spy Bureau, too? Yes. So? What do you want with me? I need your sentinel. My sentinel? Call it here. That's a thing I can do? I have no idea how. Senpai, I'm sorry. But I've got something I need to do. You want me to shoot you? I have to go stop Ida. Uh. Huh? Sounds like we're on the same side. where the sentinel's hidden. Apparently. That's some sentinel. It must weigh hundreds of tons. How does it fly in the air? But what I really don't understand is how you controlled it without any problems. Piloting a sentinel damages you, like what happened to me. So most people can't operate them. What? You mean piloting a sentinel did all that stuff to you? You know, it's not too late to turn back. It is too late. Easy, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna give up now. A girl's in trouble. You know where you're going, don't you, Senpai? There are two terminals that have been analyzed so far. Sector 1 and Sector 3. But we can only get into one of them. That'd be the terminal in Sector 3. I'm not really sure I'm following here. Mr. Ida was supposed to take me with him, but he took Takamiya-san instead. Yuki-chan? What's he planning with Yuki-chan? He needed biometric ID from one of us. It's the only way he can access the terminal. But now he's put the gate into lockdown. That means a sentinel's the only way to shift in. Just up ahead. Wait. 
Are you okay? What is this place? The outer walls of the spaceship, I guess. It's a spaceship? What are you talking about? Oh, whoa, uh... Okay, so you never found out that part. It's a long story. This doesn't make sense. How could there be a facility like this in a tunnel? I don't know how, but there is. Let's look for the Sentinel. It's really here. The one I saw at the park. Miyuki and Abba hid it here. So, now what? Well, activate it. Yeah, but how? How did you do it before? I don't know, it just kind of happened. Uh, what about your activation switch? You should have one somewhere on your body. A switch? Where nanomachines were shot into you. That's where code was injected into your system. So that should be where your switch is. <sighs> oh yeah, I got shot. I think she got me... Right around here? Swipe across it. See if that starts things up. Here goes nothing. So I just swipe it... like this? from number 14. There should be a maintenance hatch somewhere. From there, I could set the shift destination. Okay, let me look. I found it! I think. Where is it? In the back. How's it looking down there? Set the shift destination. Now you just need to confirm it. Okay, here we go. This thing better not us down. Found a way through on Shu Amiguchi's Sentinel? I suppose this is because I chose Takamiya-kun over you. Those emotional impulses of yours... ...really do try my patience. That's not why, Mr. Ida. <gasps> You're Tetsuya Ida, huh? I know about you. I've seen a lot of your past. Well, that's inconvenient. She's still transplanting memories, then. Well, I know you, too. Perhaps better than anyone else could. 
After all, I've known you all your life. Ever since I dropped you off as a newborn. Dropped me off? I placed you into the Amiguchi family as a child. Then, you're saying... You are genetically identical to me. You are Tetsuya Ida. <sighs> Yuki-chan's got nothing to do with this. Let her go! I'm afraid she's a vital part of the process. I need her biometrics to access the computer. You should know this is partly your fault. Up until now, I had simply been borrowing your ID. But then you had to go and access your Sentinel. Which means authorization has been restored to you. Yuki-chan. Don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Amiguchi. You have feelings for Yuki Takamiya, I take it? Yeah. I love her. You know, under any other circumstances, it'd be fascinating. Genetically identical, but our experiences made us very different people indeed. A shame. There is nothing you can do to change this. <gasps> Miyuki... Inaba? Ida-kun. So here you are at last. Your singing gave you away. I recognized it instantly. I'm still your biggest fan, believe it or not. Itakun, please. Think this over. I have to start things over for the two of us. This is a mistake. I'm afraid you're the one who's mistaken. It's too late. This place will be gone soon enough anyway. Or do you have some other option to share? Even if I did, you wouldn't listen to me. Not the way you are now. Stop! I won't let you erase her! Erase her? Please. I love Tomi Kisaragi. There's no need for anything as drastic as that. But I do need to silence her as a precautionary measure. You can cut off communications. I'm not going to give up. I don't need to cut off communications. It doesn't matter where you are. After all, you're a Sentinel AI now. She's in a Sentinel? And I happen to have command authorization over the Sentinels. All of them up to number 19. That's impossible. Wait, Edekun. I'm in orbit right now. I'm watching this all from the command ship's computer. And I can see everything. I know what'll happen to that whole area. The reset will change everything. It'll all be broken down and rebuilt, but... Indeed. A new beginning for you and me. No, you don't understand. Attention! Emergency protocol. Four shut down Sentinel number 16. She'll be asleep until all of this is over. That's the last variable taken care of. I think our work here is done. We're returning to Sector 4. And you're coming with us, Shu Amiguchi. As will you, Shinonome-kun. Come on. You know you need me. Really? That's my girl. We're leaving. Collect the equipment. I know what you've really been trying to do. Back then, all those nights in the lab, you weren't trying to bring her back. You wanted to remake Kisaragi the way you wanted her to be. Ida, you think we're the same person? You're nothing like me! 
I'd never use a girl as some tool! <sighs> Little shit! Stop right there! Don't move. Damn it. Hamiguchi kun, hurry. Right. You hurt Yuki chan? Hamiguchi. Uh. Shino no me. Uh. You can be such an inconvenience. Speaking of. Uh. Hamiguchi! Takamiya kun. I suggest you come quietly, or Amiguchi will suffer the consequences. You son of a bitch! Yuki-chan, don't risk it! <sighs> if we could hurry this up... On it, sir. What? there. Okay, nice. So that's all set. Then let's do... this. <sighs> no dice. You need to take this seriously. Hey, you want to do this yourself? Be my guest. Keep it cool. He's doing fine. Yuki-chan, I promised I'd save her. I'm going after her, no matter what it takes. It doesn't seem as if the director's coming back. Which means it may be up to us to find our way back home. Probably best to work together for now. So you guys really have no idea how to work all this stuff? Our intel suggested it's just not possible for us. The only ones with clearance and ability are the special miners. But we'll certainly make an effort. Can't your robot do something to solve this? It's capable of transporting us across time, correct? Hell if I know, man. My senpai was the one who set up the time travel. Sure, I can fly the thing. But I'd have no idea how to get us home. How much does your organization know? Do they have any real info on how this place works? Well, it's a UFO made by scientists of the future. Since before our time, it's been buried here, deep underground. Okay, so you're basically clueless. Sound about right? Yeah. Come on, out of the way. <sighs> this is nothing like my microcomputer at home. Damn it. This doesn't look good. I can't help me, Yuki and Abba. I can't even go after Yuki chan. What am I supposed to do here? <gasps> Where'd the console go? Did it work? No. It just started moving by itself. Minami? Amiguchi-kun? The data the unit! Men in black!
huh? Iba, where could she have gone? Forget her. I need to find Nachan. I should check with Sekigahara if there's been any progress. A city in ruins. And this one's next. Is that what this place is gonna look like? I can't even imagine. Erika Aiba... is a robot? Or, more accurately... A criminal by the name of Juro Izumi, who has no physical body of his own. He wanted to do something to me. Something that involved shooting me up with nanomachines. The Kisaragi involved in the bathroom incident. It was really just a robot built to look like her. Then that robot got damaged and was disposed of in the old school building. And now the robot's brain is in Aiba's body. So the box I thought was a projector was actually a talking machine named Miura. And the stuff Nachan wrote in her notebook, she must have been talking about that. So it wasn't just made up. I'm sorry for doubting you, Nachan. How many days has it been since Nachan went missing? I was told she'd be able to find food, but I'm worried about her. I should hurry and get to the old building. Sekigahara is there. I saw something that looked like a wet boat meant to get... Anyone there? Are you in here? Is he? He said he was gonna be hiding around here. Maybe he's still looking for her. Or maybe he got caught. <sighs> we are here! Sekigahara, what happened? Nanomachine separation inside the brain is progressing. What does that mean? He is in the same condition as Ryoko Shinonome. <gasps> um... Hey... I still have my memory. I just ran out of my pills. Don't mind me. You were searching for Natsunomi Nami. We've determined her location. She's in Sector 3. What? Miura? It is only speculation. But there is a high probability that she is there. Okay, great! Let's go get her! Oh, wait. Sekigahara. Go without me. I just needed to tell you. Besides... The black suits are only after me now. It'd be bad if they think you're my accomplice. Better to avoid being seen together at all. Come over here. What is it? What is this thing? Take it with you. I don't know how to use it. You'll need it to save Minami. <sighs> I need to ask you a favor in return. Miura is carrying a message for me. If I were to ever lose my memory, I need you to show me that message. Will you be okay by yourself? <sighs> Myself is just about all I can handle. I'm sure Shinonome's medicine is in the nurse's office. Miura seems to be in a hurry. Please, go with him. Thanks. 
so. Where is Nachon? Southeast, 3.2 kilometers. There is an unusual concentration of androids. Great. More of those creepy ass robots. They must have found something. Something? You mean Nachon? I know. I won't fail. I'm ready. Lead the way. You're okay. Yuki-chan! I finally found you. You're safe now, all right? I know. But why are you here, Yuki-chan? I'd come find you anywhere, Nachan. Even if I have to cross time and space to do it. Oh, Yuki-chan! The Gene Bowler's magnetic shield is still active. BJ! It is why the androids could not approach. You came back for me! Of course. Smell talk must come later. There are four androids approaching. Let's go. No matter what comes our way, I will protect you. With everything I have! Should be a good spot, right? The river's nice and wide. Plus, no one else is around. It shouldn't be a problem if the Sentinel pops up here. Are you going to summon it right now? Perhaps we should wait until nightfall. Well, we're going to send it right back, aren't we? If it's only for a second, then we should be fine. I want to change the registered pilot of Sentinel number 17. To you, Natsuno. Wait, right here? Why? I was previously using Miura's ID. However, the ownership of the ID returned to him. It's because I operated Sentinel number 19. I can no longer pilot a Sentinel. In order to shift to the Sentinel, it must receive a new pilot. But this change comes with a price. It will reset the Sentinel's stored memory. Wait, 
That's not good. Then what do we do? You transfer all analogs to me. If it's done at the same time we change the registered pilot, I should be able to secure the log data. Good thinking, BJ. That's enough. From now on, Sentinel number 17 will be. Right, right, no problem. I'll be the one who pilots the robot. And I'll fight together with my pal, BJ. As long as Nachan isn't in any danger. Sentinel number 17 will protect Natsuno. If anything, I should be the one fighting. There is another Sentinel for you. What did you say? You must work together. And survive. You know it. Both processes must be performed concurrently. Natsuno. It's time to activate. Okay. worked, BJ? BJ? You okay, buddy? Say something. He's no longer with us. What? BJ was the only one who could retrieve the log data. But the storage capacity on a scout unit like that is limited. He couldn't store both the log data and his own AI data. So, in order to make room for the logs, he... deleted himself. No. No, you're wrong! He's just fooling around! Come on! Wake up, BJ! BJ! Easy, take... Do you know where you are? Are you alright? Where are you going? Stop following me. That's not happening. Son, can I talk to you? <gasps> Goto Senpai! Is there something I can help you with? Anything at all? Yeah. Do you like sleep, Senpai? So, no. Did you just what? tell me to what run? What kind of women do you like? Well, I. Goto's distracted. What did you do in your days off? Go on, did you? I'd rather not say. Do you like sweet senpai? Oh, no. <sighs> but I took my pill. This isn't... I 
just took some. Senpai, are you all right? Who are you? Come on, Senpai. It's me, Shu Amiguchi. Amiguchi? I don't know you. Leave me alone. Senpai. I've never seen him before. But then, why does he seem so familiar? You should probably go to the nurse's office. I'm fine. I just need to take my pills. It'll go away then. It wasn't a dream. <laughs> Mr. Ida. He didn't die in 2064. He helped me when I got here. How could I... forget something that important? Better now. <laughs> I guess they're done selling. Shinonome, what are you doing? What? Those black suits, they're looking for you. For me? <sighs> Who are you? What are you talking about? I'm an undercover agent for the SIU too. Did you forget that already? Sorry, undercover agent? I can't go on. My head... Feels like it's splitting. <sighs> Four Eyes has something on you. That's why you've been forced into being a spy for him? Four Eyes? <sighs> Tatsuya Ida, from the Special Investigations Unit. <gasps> Mr. Ida? But why would he... <sighs> it's empty. That was in the nurse's office. You really don't remember? What about when we shifted back here? In the science room? Can you remind me? Sakura High, Sector 4. The first one you set up. The gate in the science room. Amiguchi's not here. Shit, we left him. Tell me the truth, Mr. Ida. Am I just being used? Because if that's what you want, then I don't care. Uh. But... You having feelings for another girl? I can't accept that. Mr. Ida! You were just going to throw us aside, like nothing! Oh, so you could have a do-over... with her. Shinonome-kun, just take a breath. This is all a big misunderstanding. Ever since I saw the recordings from the lab, I can't take it. You're confused. You need to take your pills and calm down. I've made my decision. I know what I have to do. Stun mode deactivate. <sighs> w wait, Shinonome-kun! Goodbye, Mr. Ida. So 
Oh, do you remember now? No. There's no way. I shot him? Yep. Then you booked it out of there. Anyways, Four Eyes wasn't budging. I had no choice but to call in the black suits. Is Mr. Ida... Is he okay? How would I know? I haven't had any contact with him since. No. I couldn't have. Well, it's hard to imagine he's okay after that. Might even be dead. I still don't really understand. Why'd you do it? Recording of what? No. Stop. I don't want to remember. No more. I don't want to. There's no time. I need to hurry. I need to find as much as I can today. Where did I leave off? Mr. Ida's research. Okay, log 3214. And the next one is. <gasps> research on AI? <gasps> the data's gone. Strange. The log just ends here? The most recent log is from three years ago. Anything more recent than that has been deleted. Weird. They shouldn't have been able to get in. I locked the passageway door behind me. The surveillance camera. Maybe there's something on there. The surveillance footage from when I came here last. Found it. Hmm. Morimura and Renya Goto have been here a few times. So they're the ones that opened the passageway. Okay. Maybe if I keep going back through the footage, I'll find out who deleted the locks. that 426 would take yours from you. I'm sorry. You made that body... just for me. No. I'm the one who let my guard down. I'll make you another, right away. You should make bodies for the others, instead of me. Yes, well, unfortunately, they no longer need bodies. Because of the Sentinels? So you're aware? You're going to trick the UFO into thinking it's being controlled by the Compatible. By putting our bodyless friends into the Sentinels. That's right. Although I'm still unsure how successful we will be. The UFO is not easily deceived. Then put me into a Sentinel too. Don't be ridiculous. If you're discovered, you'll be removed as a foreign entity. It's too risky. Miura and Hijiyama can handle it. They lived as humans in an era of war anyway. Iriko, look at me. I'm not Tomi Kisaragi anymore. But if I transfer you into this world's Tomi Kisaragi, everything will be back to normal. My research has been progressing. You'll be able to come back. 
No. Absolutely not. How could you even consider it? She's still me. Sacrificing someone so I can take their place. I could never forgive you for that, Edekun. Tommy. Please. Put me into a sentinel. I'll think about it. Anyway, I need to make some adjustments. I'm gonna shut off the power for now. Why can't you see? The only person I want to save is you. I don't care who has to die for it. None of this means anything if you're not here. It's just as he said. If I had just put her in another body from the start, none of this would have happened. Her original consciousness data is still in the UFO. No. What if we just start over from the beginning? From that day? Then I can transfer her data into the new Tomi Kisaragi. She'd never have to know. We just need to reset things. It'll all be better that way. dream. He called himself Tsukasa Okino. I feel like we've met somewhere before. Hey, Juro. Let's go home. Shiba-kun's not actually human. And he... It... As Shinonome-senpai told me earlier, there's a second Juro Izumi from another world. He transferred his consciousness into an android. So that must have been what I saw. But still, why did it look just like my grandma when she was younger? So, let me get this straight. I tried asking her about but she, In my... To, at, at the... Minami's... Has, that dream... Like, if the... Yusaka san weekly, or rather. Oh. <clears throat> what? Why the long face? Have another nightmare or something? Knock it off. I'm not stupid. I know I'm the only one who can see you. Tell me the truth. This isn't about my lost memories, is it? You're not trying to restore them. You're giving me someone else's. What are you talking about? They're Juro's memories. In other words, yours. The other Juro Izumi. <sighs> you know, this one's three times older than you. I remember now. You live inside me. That day at the shrine, you jumped out of that robot and possessed me. What do you think I am, a ghost? I had nowhere else to go. If it were up to me, I would have picked a more welcoming host. You know, we can't have you causing a scene here. Your memory needs to be wiped clean. Let me try one more time. 
Miss Morimura. <gasps> Chihiro Morimura. That's right. She's the one I saw in my dream. Really on my side? She wants to change me back into Juro Izumi. Can I trust her? Excuse me. Oh, Karabikun. Truth. I'm actually Juro Izumi, aren't I? The way I am now is something you created. What's this all of a sudden? I get it now. The woman who keeps showing up in my dreams. The one I saw on Sumire Bridge. It's not for you, Sakasan. It's you, Chihiro Morimura. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Have you been aware this whole time? That shiba -kun was inside of me? Or rather... Juro Izumi was. <gasps> you talk too much. You think you can just walk in here and screw everything up? I'm not afraid to shut your mouth. kurabe -kun? If the woman from my dream is actually our teacher, then Tsukasa Okino must be real too. <sighs> Where have I seen him before? <sighs> Kurabe-kun. That's right. There was a guy standing by the vending machines earlier. He looked just like Tsukasa Okino. Uh... You're Tsukasa Okino, right? You must be mistaken. You even sound like him. You were in that UFO with Juro Izumi, right? You're not making any sense. Sorry, but I don't have time for this. If you'll excuse me. Wait! The UFO wasn't the only time. I know I've met you somewhere else. That's right. I remember now. Prisoner E-426. Face forward. The drug has been administered. The perp cannot fight back. Do not be alarmed. It is safe to enter. Prisoner E-426, look up while we're speaking to you. Or would you rather bear the brunt of the electric chair? So this man's the culprit? He's a murderer. He bombed Shikishima, killing countless people. We managed to catch him, but his identity is still unknown. Furthermore, his testimony makes no sense. That's why I've requested your assistance. The name's Onishi. I'm in charge of this investigation. I appreciate your help. Mr. Tsukasa Okino. <sighs> Tsukasa-kun. Take a good look at him. 
know this man? No. I'm afraid I've never seen him before. All right, then. Your biometrics lead me to believe you're being honest with us. Why did you bring me here? Well, we used a truth serum on the guy. He started saying your name over and over. He also mentioned a student by the name of Chihiro Morimura. This is her photo. Do you recognize her? No. We'll be requesting her cooperation soon enough. But it'll have to wait until next week. She's currently out of the country. In any case, thank you for joining us today. I may ask for your presence again if any new info turns up. Of course. You are free to go. Follow the signs back to the waiting room. <sighs> Do not be alarmed. The perp cannot fight back. <gasps> Mr. Juro Izumi. Take a good look at him. Do you know this man? How would I? All I know is... He's a terrorist bomber. Well, we took a look at your DNA. The two of you are a perfect match. It was quite a surprise. What? There's a distinct possibility that one of you is a clone. That's ridiculous. What does he have to say about it? According to his testimony, he is, in fact, you from the future. As for his motive, he claims he had to commit this crime to prevent the emergence of Kaiju. Kaiju? Huh? Excuse me for a moment. What is it? We're in the middle of an investigation. <gasps> what? An evacuation order? It's on the news? Like he's awake. Perfect. I'm almost done. What's going on? Hey, what is this? Calm down, please. High blood pressure generates noise in the scan. Tsukasa Okino. I remember now. I was attacked out of nowhere. Sorry about that. It was the only way. This isn't the most welcoming place, is it? I can't imagine you would have come willingly. Yes, good. Keep your mind calm. You're Tsukasa Okino, aren't you? I saw you in my dream and... You got left behind. I knew there was something odd about you. But that dream of yours is even more surprising than I expected. Juro Izumi, shifting in cycles. There's only one person those memories could have come from. I'm glad I looked into this. To think he'd seek refuge within Juro himself. Do you know him? We call him 426. As of now, he exists as sheer consciousness. That is to say, he lives in your injected nanomachines. At some point, he got in and took over the system area. Go ahead and ask him yourself. Uh, Shippakun. So this is the guy. He's not quite what I imagined. Don't be deceived. He can alter his appearance however he pleases. You guys can see him? He's under my control now. He can't hurt you anymore. Jeez, Juro. Why you gotta be so obtuse? Tell us the purpose of your disguise. 
He's trying to take over my mind. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not the one who wanted that. Shihiro Morimura is. Our teacher? She wanted to transplant my memory backups into you. Whatever she could do to match your personality with mine. But Tamao Kurabe didn't like the idea. She created a new personality. The one you have now. But you were using videotapes to alter my memories. Yeah, well, the backups weren't meshing with your simulated personality. You almost had a breakdown, man. So I decided to turn them into something a little more concrete. Something your current self would understand. You should thank me for saving your ass. Somehow I find that hard to believe. Why did you try to help me? Well, if Morimura's plan did work out, there'd just be another copy of me running around. Besides, I don't want to be left watching over your unstable mess. I won't tolerate being used any longer. I'm sick of it. 426. For better or worse, she's given up on the Sentinel Project. Her interest in Juro Karabe has waned. But the Sentinel Project is the only option we have. Wrong. Sentinels can't save us alone. Then what can? You're talking as if you know the answer. I do. I found an effective means for our survival. Would you like to hear it? What we call the UFO? I know who programmed it. It was a certain someone named Tsukasa Okino, back in 2188. 2188? It's hard to believe from looking at you now. But he was quite the sloppy programmer. When he designed the environment management system, he borrowed a portion of it from something else. That particular portion contains the D code. It's what's summoning the kaiju. That part of the code was never supposed to be accessed. Well, well, it was. Where was this code reused from? It was a little outdated, even for its time. But it's a little sim game based on mighty kaiju Daimos. A Daimos game? You're telling me a video game has control over the automated factories? That's how the kaiju are being produced? Where do you think the name Daimos came from? It's not a coincidence, you know. Up until now, we've been forced to play a game we can't win. But just imagine. What if we gained access to the greater system? We've had limited control over it so far. If we fix that, we'll be able to fight on an equal playing field. Think about it. Each time we destroy an enemy, we'll get some kind of meta prize. Like scoring points. With those, we can use the automated factories to strengthen our sentinels. Points, huh? Let's just call them meta chips for now. I still can't trust you. Fine, leave what you want. I don't need your help anymore. Sorry for wasting your time. Do you have any proof of your claims? Uh... There was a log on it, but it's gone. <sighs> You're putting the fate of humankind's last colony... In a video game? That's it, Hijiyama! Uh -huh. You saw the log, didn't you? Hijiyama-kun. What was that log all about? You wanna find out? Go help that idol who's stuck in orbit. Uh. Well, it's about that time. I need to get going. What? Don't worry. He can't do a thing. Maybe. But a guy like him probably planned ahead. Oh, give the boy a prize! You can be surprisingly sharp at times. Ijiyama. Uh. Hokino! Sorry. You're... Juro! Thank goodness. 
I made it in time. Yeah, thanks to me talking their ears off. Did you walk through Tar to get here? I'm doing exactly as you told me. Foul-mouthed cat. Did you say cat? Don't worry about erasing his memory. What? But then... What are you talking about? Let's go. Relax. I won't erase your memories either. So it's her. She's the one who's been cooperating with him. to fulfill that promise. Just as you said. A kaiju attacked, like in that movie. So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Our fate was sealed a long time ago. too. And yet, you're entrusting it all to me. 
Even though they kind of turned you into a sissy, in the end, you're still Juro, just like me. I've accepted it. We've all got to play with the hands we're dealt. Fuyusaka's not going to be able to handle him alone. Go for it, Juro. What's going to happen to you? Piloting a Sentinel takes a hell of a lot of brain power. If your nanomachines are focused on that, there won't be much processing power left. In other words, I won't be able to talk to you anymore. But you've got my memories, right? You know what needs to be done. The rest is up to you. You're right. I'll do it. I guess I'll be going then. Right. Put your game face on, Juro. We've taken turns for the last time. Try not to get a game over. Sentinel number 13. Activate. 